gradient and direct proportion. Direct proportion is when two variables are directly related, that is, as one variable increases, the other variable increases, and at zero on the x, we're at zero on the y, that is, the line passes through the origin. So this is a relationship between x and y that is in direct proportion. So the rate of change of one variable to the other is constant. The gradient is the rate of change. That is, as x increases, how much does y increase per value of x? That's the gradient, the rate of change. Direct proportion must pass through the origin. Two variables are directly related. And the line passes through the origin, which is 0, 0. And so because the line passes through the origin, the formula will be y equals mx, no plus b, because b, the y-intercept, is 0. We often get things like distance and time. Distance in kilometers traveled over time. If you've traveled to zero time, you've gone zero distance. That's a direct proportion relationship. So the type of question we might get, water is poured into an empty tank. It takes three hours to fill the tank with 6,000 liters. Find the graph linking the rule of volume in V with time t. So of course this then gives us our x and y. So volume is our y but we're using v. Time is our x but we're using t. Basically use the values they give you. It takes three hours to fill the tank with 6,000 litres. That says we've got a point of three 6,000. And it's since we start at the origin, water starts with an empty tank at zero time, we'll start at zero, zero. That gives us two points. So it's very easy to graph. Need a little bit more space there. So we only need to go up to three hours because that's all they've asked us for. We read through the questions, just check that you don't need to show anything way outside those values, but we only need to go to 1.5 hours or 5,000 litres. So we put T in hours, you do need to label your graph. We put volume in litres, which is V, actually, well, let, let's do 1,000 litres. Five, and I didn't give it enough space, that's my bad. Six. So we've got a point here at zero, zero. You could have just gone 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or you can say volume in 1,000 litres. Uh, at three, 6,000, I've got a point. You only need two points for any line. So, oh, fine, I'll use the fountain pen for my line, it won't be easy. So we've graphed that relationship. Find the rule linking volume with time. OK, as volume goes up one, it's, sorry, as time goes up one, volume has gone up by 2,000. So gradient is rise over run, which is 2,000 over one which is a gradient of 2,000. Do not be fooled into just doing 2, because it's 2 on your graph. Your line is going to be y equals mx. We need to substitute in v, t, and our gradient. Volume is 2,000 times time. That's our rule. Put it on the graph. 
The rate of change, therefore, is that that's 2,000 litres per hour. Sorry about my phone buzzing there. Find the volume after 1.5 hours and the time to fill 5,000 litres. Use the formula. V equals 2,000 T. I want the time to be 1.5 hours. V is 2,000 times 1.5. So the volume after 1.5 hours is 3,000 litres. Find the time taken to fill 5,000 litres. Use the formula. V is 2,000 T. Substitute in the volume that we know. 5,000 is 2,000 times T. I will need to divide by 2,000 on both sides. Remembering if you're feeling uncomfortable about this equation, it probably helps you out if you just swap sides to get the T that we want on its own on this side. Divide both sides by 2,000. T equals 2.5 and that's in hours. So it would take 2.5 hours to fill 5,000 litres. So that's direct proportion.